Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for this hour, for this moment. Thank you, Lord, because of the great things you have done already. We know your name will not fail. The anointing will not fail. The power will not fail. Your glory will not fail. And your word remains ever the same. I come tonight to your people. Lord, I'm asking tonight to turn lives around in Jesus' name. You move mountains in Jesus' name. You walk your miracle in every life in Jesus' name. Turn every life around. Save the soul. Heal the sick. Destroy the works of the devil. Set your people free. Glorify the name of Jesus. I thank you because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name I pray. And St. Farah states, give me a good day. Amen. God bless you. You can sit down. I'm reading to you from Isaiah chapter 45. Isaiah chapter 45 verse 22. You come to me and be saved. All the ends of the earth. For I am God and there is none else. Here the almighty God is speaking to you. He's speaking to you as an individual. He's speaking to you as a family. He's speaking to you as a community. He's speaking to you as a group of people. You want something from God. And you need something from God. And the power of God is here tonight. The power to heal. The power to save. The power to set free. The power to destroy the works of the devil. That's why he calls upon you. He says, you want to see a miracle? Look unto me. You want to be saved? Look unto me. You want to be healed? Look unto me. You want that mountain to move away? He says, look unto me. You want the power of God to come from the throne of God. And flow into your life. And touch your life. He says, look unto me. And then he says, look unto me, all the earth. And be ye saved. And then he announces to you who he is. He says, I am God. He says, I am the creator. He says, I am the redeemer. He says, I'm the power beyond every power. He says, he has might and strength. He says, El Shaddai. It's Jehovah God in heaven. It's the one that can do all things. And that's why he calls you tonight. And he says, look unto me. Don't look unto them, look unto me. Don't look to the river, look unto me. Don't look to the mountain, look unto me. Don't look to any other personality, look unto me. He says, look unto me and be ye saved. Then he says, all the ends of the earth. Which means whether you're in the south or in the north. In the east or in the west. Anywhere you find yourself tonight. And you're looking for the salvation of the Lord. You're looking for the deliverance of the Lord. You're looking for the healing of the Lord. It says, look unto me. And then salvation has come. Salvation is coming to somebody there. What are you there? Salvation is coming. I said, what are you there? Healing is coming. Well, are you there? Your deliverance is coming. That's why he says, look unto me. And then he says, and be ye saved. Look at that word. And be ye saved. Think about that word. And be ye saved. We're talking about salvation. Why salvation? The wonder of salvation. The wonder of forgiveness. The wonder of redemption. The wonder of the power of God touching your life. The wonder of healing. The wonder of deliverance. The wonder of a miracle. And the wonder of Jesus Christ coming to shake everything shakeable out of your life. The wonder of a breakthrough. The wonder of possessing your possession. And the salvation, total salvation. What makes salvation necessary? Think about the need of salvation. Think about the necessity of salvation. 
Think about the nature of salvation. Let me tell you the story. God created Adam and Eve. The very first person, the very first man that lived on this earth. After God created everything in the universe. He placed Adam here. He placed Eve, the wife, here. And he gave them a commandment. He said, there is a particular tree. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil. He said, you must not eat of that fruit. He gave them a commandment. They rebelled against the commandment. They disobeyed the commandment. As a result of their disobedience, man fell from grace to grass, from favor to failure. They failed from the fail, from dominion to the pit of darkness. That is called the fall of man. That fall of man affected the whole universe. Affected everybody born of Adam and Eve. Sin came in. Sickness came in. Suffering came in. Sorrow came in. Because of that fall. And now we need salvation. Because now we have followed Adam and Eve. They were rebellious, were rebellious. They were sinners, were sinners. They failed, were failed. They fell, were falling. And because of that fall, there is a condition of man. It is a condition of evil. It is a condition of oppression. It is a condition of suffering. It is a condition of sorrow. We need salvation from that condition. As a consequence of what they did, sin came upon the whole of humanity because they fell from the grace of God, from the favor of God, because they fell from the goodness of God, from the nature in which they were created. Sin came to every life. That's the consequence of the fall. And now we need salvation, number one, from the condition of the fall. We need salvation from the consequence of that fall. Number three, from the condemnation that came as a result of that fall. The condemnation that came. The soul that sinners, it shall die. And so the sentence of punishment, the sentence of death, physical death, spiritual death, eternal death, the judgment that came as a result of sinning, that judgment came upon us. And because we want to be free from the judgment, so we need salvation. Salvation from the condition of the fall. Salvation from the consequence of the fall. Salvation from the condemnation from the fall. And we couldn't save ourselves. We cannot elect anybody, nominate anybody, send forth anybody to say he will be our savior. Everybody needs salvation. And so we cannot, we cannot select a sinner like ourselves. A fallen man like ourselves. A fallen woman like ourselves. To say, you will be my savior. No, they, they cannot save us. Nobody on earth can save us. That's why God himself, he took the initiative upon himself. And he said, I will save you. Tonight, he says, I will save you. Nobody else will save you. God will save you tonight. Somebody there said, God will save you tonight. Somebody there said, God will save you tonight. What are you there? Salvation. I said, what are you there? Salvation. The need of salvation. The necessity of salvation. The nature of that salvation. What's the nature of the salvation? It takes you away from that sin. And it cancels the consequence of that sin. And it removes the sorrow from that sin. It removes the suffering from that sin. And the sickness that came as a result of that sin, it wipes all that away. And it is tonight. 
Am I talking to somebody there? Tell me yes. It was coming to you today. It will touch your life. It will turn your life around. It will set you free. Free from the condition of the fall. Free from the consequence of the fall. And free from the condemnation of the fall. And the power of God comes to you. Because God himself has invited you. And he says, look unto me. All the ends of the earth. And be ye saved. Then he says, because I am God. Not I was. Of course he was. Not I will be. Of course I will be. But the same God, the same yesterday, today and forever. The one that says I am God, I change not. He was. He is. And it will never be. That's why he says he puts everything together. The past and the present and the future. And he says, because I am God and I change not. That's why he calls you today. He's calling you today. Somebody there I said is calling you today. Where are you? Somebody there is calling you today. Where are you? Somebody there is calling you today. And he says, look unto me. Don't look unto them. Look unto me. Don't look to the mountain. Look unto me. Don't look to the river. Look unto me. Don't look unto any man. Look unto me. And be ye saved. Then he says all the ends of the earth. Because, and he says, he's able to do what he has said he will do. That's why he says, because I am God, I change not. Look unto me and be ye saved. Look unto me and be healed. Look unto me and be delivered. Look unto me and be set free. Look unto me and have dominion. Look unto me and be an overcomer. Look unto me and have the victory in your life. Look unto me and be ye saved. All the ends of the earth. For I am God and there is none else. I'm talking to you today on supernatural wonders for all. Supernatural wonders for all. You'll see the wonder of God today. I said somebody there, you'll see the wonder of God today. You'll see that forgiveness of the Lord. You'll see that uh, redemption of the Lord. You will see that salvation of the Lord. That's exactly what he said. That's what he said they will do. That's why he's inviting you. That's why he's calling you. And he said, look unto me. And then you'll be saved. Look unto me. You'll be saved from the condition of the fall. You'll be saved from the consequence of the fall. You'll be saved from the condemnation of the fall. Because it says, I'm God, I'm able to do it. I am God, I'm surely going to do it. If you will come, if you will respond, if you say, yes, Lord, here I am. I come unto you because you said you will save me. He will do what he said he will do. Because he is God and there is nobody like him. Supernatural wonders. It's coming your way. I said it's coming your way. Supernatural wonders for all. There are three things we're looking at as I look at that verse of scripture. Number one, the gracious call to his salvation. The gracious call to his salvation. He has salvation in hand. He has salvation to give you. He has salvation to deposit in your life. And he gives you a call. And it's a call of merited. It's a call you couldn't pay for. It's a call you couldn't work for. The gracious call to his salvation. Number two, the great cure of your sickness. That's part of that salvation. It's part of the freedom. It's part of the deliverance. It's part of that redemption. The cure, a great cure. Not just for sicknesses generally, but for your sickness in particular. Somebody there, you are getting healed tonight. Somebody there said you are getting healed tonight. Because of the great cure of your sickness. 
Number three is a glorious conversion by the Savior. The glorious conversion by the Savior. You'll come to the side of the Lord. You will respond to the call of the Lord. And his cure will come to you. His conversion will come to you. His transformation will come to you. His power will break down every yoke in your life. Give me a good, good amen. Come to number one now. The gracious call. You know, you didn't do anything to marry this call. It's a free gift of God. It's because of the love of God. It's because of the compassion of the Lord. There is the outcry of the mercy of God. Because God so loved the world. And you in the world. Because God so loved the world. That man in the world. Because God so loved the world. That woman in the world. God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever. Whosoever. I'm looking for him. Whosoever. I'm looking for her. Whosoever. I said I'm looking for him. Whosoever. I'm looking for her. Whosoever. Believers in him. Will not perish. That's by grace. That's by the love. By, by the mercy. That's by the compassion of the Lord. That whosoever. Believeth in him. In the one who died for us on the cross of Calvary. Will not perish but have everlasting life. That's why I said look unto me. Turn your gaze towards the Lord. Turn your focus towards the Lord. Turn your faith towards the Lord. Turn your expectation towards the Lord. Your confidence of salvation. is not in the work of your hand. Looking at yourself. I'm a good man. I'm a good woman. Your expectation of salvation is not in yourself. Look at yourself. I gave money to the beggar. I helped somebody who was poor. I closed the naked. I did this. I did that. Ah, you are looking at yourself for salvation. You cannot be equal to God. You are not as righteous as God. You are not as holy as God. You are not as powerful as God. You cannot save yourself. Look away from yourself. Look unto me. There are people that are looking to somebody else. They have a particular person they are looking up to. They say, he will save me. Uh -uh. He cannot save you. Everybody needs salvation. The person you are looking up to, he, has, he needs salvation. That's why he says, look away from him. And look away from her. And look away from whatever system you are looking at. And he says, look unto me. Look unto me. Jesus is my savior. Somebody there, Jesus is my savior. Say it for yourself. Jesus is my savior. Shout it out. Jesus is my savior. Yes, he's my savior. Jesus is my redeemer. I cannot hear you. Jesus is my redeemer. Look away from me. Look away from yourself. Look away from every other person. Look unto me. And be ye saved. All the ends of the earth. It says look unto me. It's the almighty God talking. It's your creator talking. It's your redeemer talking. That's why I sent Jesus on the cross of Calvary. And then he said, he'll save you. In fact, that's what the angel said. She shall bring forth a son. Talk about Mary the virgin. She shall bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. That's tonight, it will happen. I said tonight, it will happen. What are you there? I'm looking for him. I said it will happen to you. It will happen to you when you respond to the call of God. The gracious call. The gracious call to his salvation. It's not just salvation ordinary. The salvation that comes from the hand of the Lord. 
His salvation. What kind of salvation is that? It's salvation from sin. Salvation from the bondage of sin. Salvation from the cord of sin. Salvation from the power of sin. Salvation from the defilement of sin. You see, a sinner is defiled. A sinner is dirty. And when you've done those dirty, dirty things, you've said those dirty, dirty words, you've gone to those dirty, dirty places, you've smoked those dirty, dirty things, you've touched that dirty thing, and you have drunk that dirty thing, in the sight of God you are condemned. In the sight of God you are dirty. And now he says, I have salvation. And nobody has salvation like him. Nobody has a gift like him. Any other salvation you get any other place. That one is fake. That one is counterfeit. That one is light. That one cannot carry any weight. The salvation that comes from God. Because it came through Calvary. It came through the death of Jesus. That's why I said, look unto me. Look unto me. He's calling you. It's a great call. When somebody calls you, you must answer. Somebody wants to give you something good. And he calls your name. You will turn around. And you will answer. You say, that's me. He says, I have a miracle here. And then he calls the name of the person to have the miracle. Say, that's my name. That's my name. God says, I have salvation here. And he calls the name of the person to have that salvation. That's my name. I said, that's your name. I said, that's your name. I can't see you. I can't see you. You will respond. Because he's calling you. The gracious call to his salvation. When he calls my name. When he calls my name. When he calls my name. The giver of life. When he calls my name. The giver of forgiveness. When he calls my name. The giver of salvation. When he calls my name. The giver of eternal life. When he calls my name. I will answer. I will answer. Somebody there tonight you will answer. He's calling your name. And you are going to answer. That's why it says look unto me. And be ye saved. Get my salvation. Get my forgiveness. Get my transformation of life. And he says, and be you're changed. And he says, says, all the ends of the earth, everybody on the face of the earth, he has salvation waiting for you. But you know, part of that salvation, number one, he saves you from sin. Number two now, he saves you from sickness. The sickness upon your life. It will save you from that. It will take you from that sickness. It will take that sickness away from you. It will take that blindness from you tonight. Those cheeks you are using in a second leg or third leg or fourth leg. You say you don't need that anymore. It will strengthen your natural legs. Those ears that are not hearing. The power of God will come there. Whatever impediment is there. And whatever is blocking those ears, the Lord is going to take that impediment away today. Give me a good amen. And then the impediment in your speech. The thing that took your voice and you couldn't talk, the power of God will come upon you. Because he gives us salvation from sickness. Cancer will dry up. Ulcer will dry up. That ania will vanish away. Tuberculosis is going away today. All those infirmities, all those sicknesses, they go going away tonight. Because of point number two, the great cure of your sickness. The great cure of your sickness. There's a man I read about in the Bible. This man in the Bible, he was blind. He couldn't see. And then he wanted to receive his sight. 
and he heard that Jesus of Nazareth was passing by. And he knew if I can get to him, and he knew if he can touch my life, and he knew if I can respond to his call, I will receive my sight. And so he was crying after Jesus. Jesus, help me shout to that name. Help me shout to that name. For the third time, help me shout that name. He shouted, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And the people said, shut up now. Keep quiet now. You're disturbing us. And did the shout of Jesus disturb them? And then the man shouted the great deal the more. Jesus! I thought somebody would help me shout the name again. Jesus. Have mercy on me. And then Jesus stood still. He will wait for you tonight. He will touch your life tonight. He will call you tonight. He will open those blind eyes tonight. He will turn that life around tonight. The one that went about healing all that were oppressed of the devil. is coming your way tonight. And it's getting to you tonight. And he's saying, this program is just because of you. Today is just because of you. Wonderful. That's why he's saying, look unto me. Look unto me. And be saved. And be saved from that sickness. And be free from that sickness. And be free from that infirmity. The moment you take your mind away from every other thing. I'm saying, I'm looking unto Jesus. He's a great physician. He's the power of God in man. He's the one that is able to break every yoke. He's the one that will destroy the works of the devil. I am looking unto Jesus tonight. That healing will touch you tonight. That deliverance will touch you tonight. The great cure of your sickness. And this man saying, Jesus have mercy on me. He stood, Jesus stood still and said, call him. And he said, be of good cheer. And be of good comfort. I come to tell you tonight. I come to announce to you tonight. I come to proclaim to you tonight. Be of good comfort. And be of good cheer. He's calling you. He will touch you tonight. I said he'll touch you tonight. And then he came. And while he was coming, he knew that the badge of blindness, that he is the garment he wore, he threw that away. Because he will not need that anymore. Because those blind eyes are opening tonight. Somebody there said those blind eyes are opening tonight. And you will see clearly. Darkness will vanish away from you. All the impediments will vanish away from you. The bandage of the devil that he uses in closing your eyes, all that will be taken away tonight. And then Jesus said, what do you want me to do for you? Why are you calling my name? And the man said, that I might receive my sight. That I might receive my sight. And Jesus said, be it unto you according to your faith. Somebody there is manifesting faith tonight. And as my faith joins with your faith. And as your faith joins with my faith. Tonight. Where are you? I said tonight. What is she there? I said tonight. What is she there? Healing will come upon your body. It will set you free. All those cords it will break. All those yokes it will break. All those things that tie you down tonight is the night of your release. The night of your freedom. The night of your healing. The night of your deliverance. Look at this woman. She had been, she'd been having issue of blood for 12 years. And she's gone to all the people she thought could cure her. And she paid a lot of money. And she spent everything she had. And there was no better condition. And then she heard of Jesus. Just like tonight you have heard of Jesus. And you have come. You have come to a good place. You have come to a good person. 
that Jesus, he never fails. His touch never fails. His watch never fails. His power never fails. His authority never fails. His anointing never fails. And it comes to you tonight. It will touch you. And it will heal you. And it will deliver you. And that woman heard of Jesus Christ. And said, if I may but touch the hem of his garment. I shall be made whole. It was a great crowd. It was a big crowd. To get to Jesus was such a problem. But she did it. You will get to Jesus tonight. I said you will get to Jesus tonight. What is he there? He's getting to Jesus. What is she there? She's getting to Jesus. And as you get to Jesus tonight, you touch him by faith. His virtue will float your body. His power will float your body. And as soon as she touched him, 12 years of uh, issue of blood, everything stopped immediately. And all the many years of your suffering ending tonight. All the many years of your sickness ending tonight. All the many years of your infirmity ending tonight. Because tonight is that night. The night when the Lord will touch you. The night when the Lord will roll that thing away. And the shame of that sickness. And the suffering of that sickness. And the pain of that infirmity. Tonight, everything will vanish away in Jesus' name. And the moment she taught Jesus, all that thing dried up immediately. That thing that is issuing out of your body, tormenting your body. Tonight, everything will dry up. That cancer will dry up. That ulcer will dry up. And that her knee will dry up. That sickness will vanish away. Because that name is still powerful and mighty today. That name is still curing the incurable today. It's still healing the sick today. That's why it says, look unto me. You're sick, look unto me. You're infirm, look unto me. You're impotent, look unto me. You're powerless, look unto me. You're anemic, look unto me. You're dying, look unto me. And be saved and be healed. And then he says, all the ends of the earth. All the ends of the earth. And you say, because I am God and there is none else. That's why the word of God says, in the evening they brought many people that were paralytic. And they brought them unto Jesus. I were told that he healed every one of them. On my left hand side over there healing is coming in front of me there where are you healing is coming to you wonderful look at my right hand over there a miracle of healing deliverance coming to you anywhere you are tonight jesus is here he will save he will heal he will deliver he will set you free i said he will set you free that's why he's calling you. That's why he's inviting you. That's why he says, look unto me. And be ye saved. Look unto me. And be ye healed. Look unto me. And be ye set free. Look unto me. And be ye delivered. Look unto me. And let that mountain move away. All the ends of the earth. Because I am God. And there is none else. Number one is a gracious call. Number two is a great kill. Number three is a great conversion by the Savior. The great conversion by the Savior. What's conversion? You know, sometimes you've heard about conversion. There is a particular building. And that building was uh, like uh, almost a useless building. Almost a worthless building. The outside, as you look at it, you say, who is living here? And then a rich man takes over that building. He wants to convert the building. 
and then he wants to put offices there and he puts air conditioner there and he puts all the amenities there and he puts all the good good furniture there and then he changes the door he changes the window he even changes the roof and then as you pass by you see all the cars that are parked there in front of that house he converted that useless house into a useful building that's conversion as you look at your life and sin has not allowed you to do whatever will be good the six you wanted to do you couldn't do the six you didn't want to do that's what you were doing and the sin wrecked your life the sin ruined your life a temple but useless a house but worthless a building but of no good and here comes jesus he comes with the riches of heaven he comes with the treasures of heaven he comes with the instrument of heaven he comes with all the tools of heaven he comes with power from heaven he comes with glory from heaven and he changes that building i'm talking about your life and he changes your life and he turns your life around and what was worthless before is now worthy of note what was useless before now is useful what was a kind of scrap of paper before is now a useful profitable tool conversion it changes your life and it makes it fit for heaven it makes it fit for god and makes it fit for righteousness conversion a glorious conversion by the savior that's why god is calling you he wants to make that bad life to become good that bad life will become good tonight i said that bad life will become good tonight i can't hear my people i said the bad life will become good tonight you know how you say but i'm good already you still need conversion you know some good people don't don't think they need conversion because he'll move you from good he'll make your life better are you there i'm talking to you tonight that good life will become better to life in jesus name because anywhere jesus comes doesn't matter how nice you are how good you are how wonderful you are when he comes he's going to look at something there he says you look good but look at this area you talk good but look at this area you dress good but look at this area you stand good but look at this area and all those areas that nobody noticed before the lord will make what is good to become better conversion is coming where is conversion coming tonight i say where is conversion coming tonight conversion glorious conversion a glorious turning around a glorious transformation that he wants to do tonight tonight is your night i said tonight is your night say it for yourself tonight is my night say it for yourself tonight is my night i want to hear you tonight is my night that's why the lord is saying look unto me look unto me and be ye saved look unto me and be ye converted look unto me and be ye transformed and then he says all the ends of the earth he wants to take the bad life he wants to make it good he wants to make that ugly life and wants to make it beautiful he wants to take that personality that is not very good that everybody is saying look at him everybody is saying look at her everybody is saying look at the behavior tonight he wants to convert he wants to change and you are not fit for heaven in your natural self because the natural man is only fit for earth no matter how good you are on earth no matter how nice you are on earth you're nice for the earth you're not nice enough for heaven 
You're good enough for the earth. You're not good enough for heaven. You're righteous enough for the earth. You're not righteous enough for heaven. Yes, I understand. You are better than that person. You are better than that person. You are better than that person on earth. On earth. But you are not good enough as good as the people in heaven. Even though you are better than many other people. You want to be good enough for heaven. And it's only the people that are converted by Jesus. Converted by the Savior. Converted by the hand of Jesus Christ. Converted by the power of Jesus Christ. Converted and cleansed by the blood of Jesus. Only those people are good enough for heaven. And he'll make you good for heaven tonight. I said he'll make you good enough for heaven tonight. I want to hear good, good, amen. He will do it. He will do it. But you must do something. Look unto me. Turn your eyes away from every other thing. All the good things you have done. All the good places you have gone. I be to Jerusalem. Let's forget about that today. I be to River Jordan. Let's forget about that today. I go to a nice place every Sunday. Let, let's forget about that today and come to Jesus and look unto him and be saved and look unto him and be forgiven and look unto him and be transformed because he says I am God I am the savior and there is none else I'm the redeemer and there is none else that's why he's calling you today that's why he wants to bless your life today it's a gracious call and it's a great kill and it's a glorious conversion he calls your name i said he calls your name and when he calls my name i will answer when he calls my name i will answer somebody there is answering tonight i said somebody there is answering tonight because the lord is calling you and saying come he's saying come He's saying come and he wants to touch your life he wants to transform your life he wants to forgive your sin he wants to make your life good enough for heaven and the blood of jesus christ will wash your water than snow and the blood of jesus will totally eradicate your sin that they will not be remembered against you anymore it will happen i said it will happen the moment you look unto him as your savior and say he is my savior he is my redeemer he's the one that will change my life that moment the change will come god is ready god is ready god is ready are you ready i said are you ready god is ready are you ready what are you if you are ready what are you if you are ready I said, where are you if you are ready? Wonderful. You mean it? Are you serious? I said, are you serious? Wonderful. You can still sit down. Heads bowed and eyes closed. Heads bowed and eyes closed. He's talking to you in particular. He wants to give you forgiveness. He wants to take all your sins away. He wants to wipe all your sins away. He wants to change your life. He wants to turn that life around. He wants to blot out the shame of your sin. He wants to take away the suffering for your sin. He wants to take away that punishment for sin. That's why he's calling you tonight. That's why he's calling you tonight. And he says, look unto me. And be ye saved. Look unto me. And be ye saved. He said, any part of the world where you are any part of this earth where you are look unto me if you're coming to christ right now and you want him to make you good for heaven you, you want him to make you suitable for heaven you want him to make you fit for heaven you're not fit by yourself you're not fit by yourself you're not good enough by yourself you know what your life is you want jesus to make you fit for heaven you want him to forgive you you want him to save you. Wherever you are, you raise up your hand. Wherever you are, you raise up 
up your hand. What are you? What are you? You raise up that hand. Say, Lord, I'm here. Lord, I'm here. If you're raising up your hand, you'll stand up. If you're raising up your hand, you'll stand up. If you're raising up your hand, you'll stand up. If you're raising up your hand, you'll stand up. I want him to forgive me. Say that I want him to forgive me. I want him to cleanse me. I want him to change my life. I want him to make me good enough for heaven. I want him to make me fit enough for heaven. I want him to make me righteous. Confess your sin to the Lord and tell him to forgive you. Confess your sin to the Lord and tell him to forgive you. I say, Lord, I come. Lord, I come. I look to God. I look to Jesus. Tell him, tell him. Open your mouth and pray. And tell the Lord, I want your salvation. Your own salvation. You called me, I have answered. You call me, I come. You call me, I respond. I want forgiveness. Tell him, tell him, tell him. I'm not good enough for heaven. Tell him, I want to be made good for heaven. Forgive me. Change my life. Transform my life. Turn me around. Cleanse me. Cleanse me. Save me from my sin. And give me your grace not to go back into them anymore. You will do it. Are you praying? Are you telling the Lord? Just say, Lord, I receive you. Lord, I receive you. Lord, I come to you. I believe. I believe you forgive me now. I believe you change my life now. I believe you make me feed for heaven now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I come, you receive me. As you are standing, raise up that hand. I'm going to pray for you. Raise up that hand now. Let me pray for you. Father, in Jesus' name, we well, thank you. We well, bless your name. Thank you for the glorious, gracious call. And thank you because of all these who are standing. They have responded to the call. That you are calling them. Lord, I pray you will forgive them in Jesus' name. Take the shame of their sins away. And take the sorrow of their sins away. And take the suffering of their sin away. I pray, Lord, you will wipe all those sins away from their lives in Jesus' name. Forgive them. Redeem them. Save them. Cleanse them. Turn them around. Transform their lives. Make them different from tonight. Thank you because I know you have answered. I know you have saved them. I know you have forgiven them. Confirm it, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Another amen. Praise the Lord. Keep on standing. A miracle is coming your way. Praise the Lord. Those blind eyes are about to see now. The lame, they are about to rise up and walk. That tumor is about to vanish away. Somebody wants a miracle. Where is it? You want a healing? Where are you? You rise up on your feet if you can. And then you raise up your hand for your healing. Then you lay the other hand on your cell. Anointed hand. And the anointing will break every yoke in your life. Raise up that hand. And then you lay the other hand on your cell. We're going to pray now. And as we pray, when you hear the final Amen. Those blind eyes are open already. When you hear the final amen, you get out of that wheelchair because the power of God will be there at the point of that final amen. Brain problem will vanish away. Your mountains will move away. Your time has come. My time has come. My time has come. Say it out. My time has come. Keep up that hand. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your expectant people. They know you can do all things. 
They know you cannot fail. And they have heard that you are calling them. Look unto me. And be ye healed. Look unto me. And be ye delivered. Look unto me. And be ye saved. All the ends of the earth. Because you are God. And there is none else. Your might is here today. Your power is here today. And the authority of the name of Jesus is with us today. The anointing that breaks the yoke is here today. I send forth your power on everyone. Touch everyone now in Jesus' name. Break every yoke. Destroy the works of the devil. Show your love to your people. Have mercy on your people. Have compassion on your people. And roll their problems away in Jesus' name. That brain problem, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Madness, insanity, come out in Jesus' name. Epilepsy, be healed in Jesus' name. I command that cancer, be healed in Jesus' name. I command that ulcer, be healed in Jesus' name. Tuberculosis, be healed in Jesus' name. HIV, AIDS, be healed in Jesus' name. That weakness in your body, come out in Jesus' name. That fellow anemia, as if you cannot stand, as if you don't have any strength, I pray that power will enter into you now in Jesus' name. All those evil past evil spirits walking about in your body, I command evil spirit, get out in Jesus' name. And the one that is like they shot something at you in the dream, and since that time, that place is bad, that place is painful, I command that spiritual bullet, come out in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for those who have any other internal disease. I command that anemia come out in Jesus' name. I command the swelling in your body get out in Jesus' name. And I command all the diabetes be healed in Jesus' name. I pray for that high blood pressure be healed in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that those blind eyes will open now. Blind eyes be opened. Bandage of the devil get out there. Glucoma, get her from there. Catala, get her from there. Lord, touch their blind eyes. Open those blind eyes in Jesus' name. I pray for those who are deaf and dumb. I send forth your power into those deaf ears. That those eardrums will come alive and you begin to hear right now. Dumb tongues be loose and begin to speak right now. Hear the word and speak out in Jesus' name. I pray for those who have broken bones. Any broken bone in your body. I pray the hand of the Lord to touch your broken bone. Be healed in Jesus' name. One leg shorter than the other. I command that short leg to grow out. Be healed in Jesus' name. Those with that hands. Stretch the hands out. Be healed in Jesus' name. I pray for those who have stroke. Touch them right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Pains of arthritis. In your elbow, in your joints, in your shoulder, in your knees, in your ankle, anywhere. That arthritis pain, come out in Jesus' name. This one lay me in any way, paralyzed in any way. Receive the power of God right now. Get out of that wheelchair. Come out of those crutches. Be healed in Jesus' name. I pray for everybody here, Lord. On the right, miracle. On the left, miracle. At the back, miracle. In the front, miracle. At the center, miracle. Joy everywhere. Healing everywhere, deliverance everywhere, miracle everywhere, confirm it in every life. I thank you because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name I pray. 
it has happened it has happened those blind eyes open your eyes so you can see your crutches get up you can walk on the wheelchair get up now you can walk anywhere you are check up that swelling it is gone check up the weakness and now you are strong you are strong now whatever you could not do before check up yourself now look at that miracle look at that miracle and as you see the miracle counselors check up on them and then you come out let there be shout of joy our pastor will take over